What is up guys, Gabe here. Today I want to talk to you about poster booking, a digital signage web location that you can use to cast images, videos, and songs for whatever smart device you have at your disposal. Today specifically I want to mention that you can use poster booking to score big, never miss a goal again. I'm talking to you sports club managers and football fanatics. There's a roar in the stadium, the energy is palpable, and the crowd is waiting with bated breath. But how do you ensure that every member, visitor, or guest in your club is up to speed with the latest match scores, especially when there's more than one game on? Trade in the old school scoreboard for the future of sports broadcasting, digital signage. So why should you use poster booking, the MVP for broadcasting football scores in your, in your sports club? Well, firstly, instant updates. All right? As soon as the ball hits the net, update scores in real time, ensuring every fan is in the loop. Multiple matches, one screen. Dynamic visuals, engage and inform, dive deeper than scores. Display player stats, league positions, and upcoming fixtures to quench the thirst of football enthusiasts. It's sleek and modern, cost effective and efficient. Save on manpower and potential errors, automate the score updates, and focus on what truly matters, the fans' experience. So, how do you get started? Well, first things first, you have to download the poster booking app on any digital app store available to you. If for whatever reason you cannot find it, you're going to have to buy what is known as an Amazon Fire Stick. All right? This device is cheap and affordable. You will not be losing out. It turns any device into a smart device just by plugging it in. Now, once you've done all this, you should be able to find the post booking app on your device. And you're going to be given a code, all right? such as this. Now, you're going to take that code and you're going to create a screen. Add screen, add screen, input the code. All right, stadium, and here are some examples of what this would look like, all right? Your stadium or sport event in the 21st century. Now, once you've done all this, you're going to be get your and your playlist. Your screen's been made, you're going to have to add a playlist. So, you're going to add it a playlist, you're going to click the plus sign. Now, I don't think any of these playlists have anything to do with a stadium or arena. So let's go ahead and make our own. So you're going to go back to dashboard. You're going to click on the plus sign, create playlist, I mean. Create one more time, give it a name. I'm going to call it stadium to keep it simple. Add playlist. Now our playlist has been made, but we need to add some content. So let's upload our image. In my case, I'm just going to use one of these that are already pre uploaded. Add to playlist. And there you have it. Stadium playlist is now going to stream this image on a loop for 30 seconds. We're going to go back to dashboard. Add screen. Click the plus sign. Add, add a playlist. The stadium playlist is now available to choose. Alright guys, hope this was helpful. I will see you all next time.